Hello, I'm Nathan Jude, I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Liam Keane. Liam, Carabao Cup, third round, Ipswich Town three, Wolverhampton Wanderers two. Uh, Penny for your thoughts, please. Uh, one word, embarrassing, to be honest. Um, Wolves have an incredibly good 20 minutes, take a 2 0 lead. Well worth that 2 0 lead. You know, mm -hmm. you can see the, the, the difference in, in no disrespect to Ipswich, the difference between a Premier League club and a Championship club. They've just been promoted from League One last season as well. and. Um, and then for the remaining 70 minutes or so, it gets flipped on its head. Ipswich looked like the Premier League club in, the, in that 70 minutes. Mm -hmm. Wolves were direct of any character, any courage, any belief, any confidence. Um, and they lack a lot of leaders on that pitch. I think they got trampled on in, in embarrassing fashion. It was, it was really poor. And, and you can pick out individuals for, for individual goals, but as a team, you know, you have to be a lot better than that. And um, with the changes they made and the start they made, Wolves have won that game and they come away crashing out of the cup. And the cup won't define Wolves this season, but wins and results in the short term will. And right, that just was not good enough. After the game against Luton, they needed a good start. They got the dream start. Yep. Two very well taken goals. And like you say, they were so comfortable. There was only one team in it. To, to have a 70 minutes like that, a capitulation, really, is absolutely unforgivable, regardless of the 10 changes that Wolves made. Remember, it was Swish made 10 as well exactly, tonight. Yeah, exactly, yeah, um, exactly. And, and it was 70 minutes of, of bombardment, yeah. really, a bar, a couple of chances that Wolves had. Ipswich were the more likely to score fourth there at the end. Yeah, you know, and, and credit to Ipswich as well. Look, I mean, uh, despite that 20 minutes where Wolves were very much on top, they came back, they came back firing, they looked after the ball really well and scored three pretty decent goals. I think Dan Bentley is going to be disappointed when he looked probably at all three of them. Um, you know, the view we had here wasn't great and there wasn't any replay, so I've had to go up based off social media reaction for the third, but it seemed like he could have done better. More central than we thought than top corner. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a great strike, but... Um, but regardless of that, regardless of one individual, I know it's a goalkeeper and it's a very important position, but regardless of that, for Wolves to have no grip and control mm. of the game after that 20 minutes spell is so poor. Yeah. I mean, whether Wolves are in front, drawing, or in behind mm. in a game, they seem incapable at the moment of settling and seeing the mm. game out. Just getting a grip of the game, calming it down and looking after the ball. It's so erratic and, and it comes down, I think, again, a lack of leadership. There's, there's no one on that pitch tonight, I thought, that grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck, spoke to the individuals around sure. them and said, we do not let this slip from here. At no point did I, I didn't see it happen once. There were so 11 cool. individuals on that pitch yeah. any one time tonight and no one was looking to each other, were they? No, no. And, and to be honest, even when the first 11, as you call it, for the mm -hmm. Premier League are out, I don't see that either. I don't, no, I don't, absolutely. I don't see someone on the pitch who, aside from maybe a Mario Lamina, you can argue maybe a Dawson, but I'm not seeing someone who's, who's grabbing the mm. team by the scruff of the neck. I have to use that phrase again. And carrying them through tough times. And that's what scares me for... City on Saturday because you've got a team who's going to have the ball, who's going to have a bombardment of chances. If you can't sit in and, and and even do the basics of positioning and keep your shape, you're going to concede God knows how many. This Wolves team, whether you're playing a Premier League game or playing a Championship opposition or worse, are an easy team to play against. They are the an moment, easy yeah. team at this moment in time to play. Yeah. You want to play. If you need to get yourself back into form, you want to play against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah. And that's not the team that we've known and loved for years. This is. Um, like you say, this is Wolves aren't going to be defined by this result. However, it's incredibly worrying going forward, isn't it? The way that things are going. It is, and uh, I, I said it after the Luton game. And I'll say it again now. I, I don't think Gary Neal got it right today with his with his starting eleven. Now I can understand giving players like Johnny minutes because he's a very good professional, does all the right things in training, and that's what O'Neill wanted and wanted to give players like that a chance. He did it against Blackpool, and Johnny played well in that game. He was all over the place mm -hmm. tonight. All over the place. And he's not the only one. I, I'm, I'm picking him out because he's a player that's come in from the cold and come in and played yeah. minutes. But I could pick a number of players out. Mm. Santi Bueno tonight, on his debut, my word, he had a decent 10, 15, 20 minutes, if I'm being polite. Mm -hmm. After that, my God, he was all over mm. the shop. He does not. He didn't fill me with any confidence. He's got to left, right, centre. So flat-footed, so slow to react, positioning. Mm. Totti, who I'm a massive fan of. How mm. many times did he give the ball away yeah. tonight? Tommy Doyle, I think he's a very talented footballer. He looks like a good player to me. He comes in tonight. I, Ghost just just passed him, passed him by. Passed Whole him game by. passed him by. In, in that first half, when Wolves were still two 0 up at one point, and it started to grow into mm. the game, and then two one started to grow into the game. I forgot he was on the pitch. Yeah. Honestly, it's yeah. you cannot carry passengers mm. in football, even against a Championship side. And Ipswich, credit to them, they're a good they're a good team. I think they'll do well under McKenna. And 
they deserve to win now on the balance of the game because mm -hmm. aside from 20 minutes Wolves were diabolical to be honest uh, look they've brought in they've brought attacking reinforcements on in, in Mateus Cunha and Nathan Fraser which is a very interesting when Fabio Silva who didn't even start tonight was not in the first two strikers called upon he obviously came on later on the pitch none of them made any kind of dent into the into the opposition territory and look no. it's um, it's it's really worrying where Wolves go here because I said I said on the before on, on Twitter and a few other uh, match day live that that this was a chance not only for these players to, to prove that they're worthy of a starting spot tonight but there's, there's places in that Premier League side up for grabs there really is and no one not one person has taken the ball by the horns and said I want to play on Saturday against Man City in fact I'll, I'll, I'll disagree there and say one player I think Bubacar Troy did a right tonight okay. and I think he did well when he came off the bench at Luton he got himself booked with a silly booking today but aside from that I thought he did okay uh, maybe I'm being slightly polite because he's very haphazard and the game will slip away from you um, with him you know maybe a free roll but he's the only one that I thought had you know grabbed the game and said right I want to play mm. against Man City I don't think he will play him no. but, <laughs> but, no. but uh, he's the only one and Gary Neal seems to be a fan of Bubino he said he, he, he trains well and he seems to be a fan of the way he carries himself he's the only one for me that's probably saying right I've got a chance to play it but the rest Other of them they, they could be waiting for an FA Cup third round game for the next game no, honestly I, I, it was that bad yeah I, could, I couldn't name a single player from that From that, aside from Huang but he obviously yeah, of course, you know, yeah. is, is in and around the starting level for the Sarabia Premier, did anyway. nothing for me Sarabia I'm glad you brought him up actually anonymous mm. I mean, how many times have we said that about Paulo Sarabia? Someone who has such little money on such high wages mm. that we look at and think, he's going to be a great signing for Wolves. He's a kind of tricky player to play inside, play out wide in between the lines. He's going to pick the ball. You know, you could have been, you could have taken him and Amari Hutchinson on loan from Arsenal, I think I believe it's Arsenal, um, at Ipswich, 19 year old. Mm. He, he looked like the player, oh, he's played Champions League football, yeah. uh, Sarabia was anonymous, I, it was so, so poor. Gary O'Neill said they were desperate to win tonight, desperate to beat Ipswich, he said on, on Saturday. That wasn't a side out there that was desperate to win that game. I'm sure he was desperate to win it, the side that... We were all desperate to win it, the, the, you were, you were the, the commentators were, the, yeah. the Wolves media guys were, we can all be desperate to win it, but you've got to put a, a team out there that want to win it and they've been dominating, like you say, for 70 minutes in that game. Yeah, I just thought the shape was all off, it was a little bit convoluted at times, confused. Um, I, I don't. I've run out of adjectives for it. To be honest, it was just so poor. What do you do Saturday? What do you do now? I mean, you turn it over, turn it to the first team, and, and hope that. It well, he, he's, he's stuck. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place here now. Um, and this isn't me giving Gary an excuse because I think he's made mistakes as well. But he's stuck with a starting eleven in the Premier League that, for the most part, hasn't done it. You can look at a few different performances, make a couple mm. of results here and there, and then you look at a quote unquote second team here today, mm. and hardly anyone, maybe one player in Bubakar Traore, has given themselves any possibility of putting that starting eleven as far as I'm concerned. As it stands, Wolves are relying on Pedro Neto to drag them out mm -hmm. on it um, against City, and that's a massive ask for any player, let alone you know a player who's playing for Wolves. And no offence, the Wolves are not Man City. And this is going to be such a hard uh, task in front of a disgruntled fan base on Saturday. The issue you're going to have, start having in this team, is that other side will look at Pedro Neto saying, This is the only real quality individual that Wolves have got that's going to hurt us. Huang, and they're going to. I mean, Huang's, you know, yeah, he's, he's but, getting goals. But, team, but, team, but teams can double team Pedro Neto. They can yeah. take him out of the game. Then all of a sudden, where are the goals coming from? Where's the creative spark coming from? I know it's six games in and two cup games. Are Wolves already in massive trouble this season? Are they, are they in a real scrap? Gary O'Neill slightly alluded to that on Saturday. Do you think he knows, this team know, the players know that this is going to be a long, hard season? Or have they got, is it too early and they've got enough quality to get up and get some breathing room? We, there's lots of turning points in the season. I think it's slightly too early to completely, completely nail it down as Wolves are in big trouble this season. But everything we've seen so far, it's trending in that direction. I, I can't stand here and say that the Wolves are going to be absolutely fine. Mm. I believe they've got enough quality to be fine because we've seen it in performances, we've seen it in individuals, we've seen it in little bits here and there. We haven't seen it as a, as a package. How many times have Wolves thrown games away within that game so far this season? If we can get that package, there's, there's enough there I think for Wolves to be fine. Right now we're not anywhere close to getting that full package and that's really where the, the, the major concern is coming from. Um, seeing too many, and I come back to the leadership point again, seeing too many players down tools at the same time, it's so worrying for me. I look at that team and I think, where is the character there? Because you've got big, loud voices off the field, shrinking violets on the pitch. Um, far too quiet. Something needs to pick up here and someone, whoever it is, and whether it's the, the skipper Max Kilman or anyone else in that leadership group, 
has got to have a serious word with some players there because it was just not good enough. Bring on Manchester City, uh, Hipswich 3, Wolves 2 for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.